determine the gradient in, in this case we're not required to find the whole equation the other question might find you might want you to find both m and c that's where you find the, the whole equation so you must have a point there and a gradient for you to be able to find the full equation now determine the gradient we know what we're looking for we're looking for the gradient calculus calculus gradient gradient Calculate the, at times it might not be the gradient, it might be the whole equation, y is equal to mx plus c. But this one was a bit lower, we're just for about 4 marks. Determine the gradient of the tangent. Ah, we know that we're looking for the gradient of a tangent. What is a tangent? It is a straight line. So we should not be confused by these names, tangent, tangent. It's nothing else but the straight line that touches that figure at one, at one point. Determine the gradient of the tangent of the graph of what given. We're not given anything on about this, this, this tangent, but we're given that this tangent is a tangent at this, at this graph. I don't even know how that graph will, will look like, but I know that this tangent and this graph will be the same at this particular point, where x is equal to minus 1. In this particular case, this gradient here for the cubic function and the gradient here for the straight line is the same where x is equal to minus 3. That's the scenario that we are given there where this x is minus 1 in that particular case. In, in my examples, I made it equal to minus 3 so that you can have a picture of what is going on here. So there is a graph that we are given which is a cubic function. We are given nothing about the tangent but we know that this graph and the tangent as the same where x is equal to minus 1. That, that becomes important. Now remember one thing. The gradient of this line and the gradient of this line are the same at this point. So if I'm looking for the gradient of this line at this point, it will be the same as the gradient of the tangent. That's exactly what we'll be doing here. Let's do this thing. When I differentiate I'm just looking for the gradient. So my gradient, f of x prime, f of x prime is equals to, now we are differentiating this times that, it is minus 9x squared uh, minus 4. If I differentiate this, it is 0. This is the average gradient. This is the gradient anywhere, anywhere here. That's what we call the average gradient. But we are not looking for the average gradient in this particular case. We are looking for the gradient at this particular point. Of, of, of this, at this particular point. At that particular point. Gradient of the tangent, m tan. So this is nothing else but the gradient of the tangent. This is the gradient of the tangent. Average gradient of the tangent, which is minus 9x squared minus 4. But we are not looking for. We're looking for a specific gradient where x is equal to minus 1. Uh, where x is equal to minus 1. That's the gradient, that's the point where we are looking for. In other words, where this x now we're pushing in minus 1. We're doing the same thing this side. It will be minus 9. Where this x now we push in minus 1. It is minus 1. Because we are told that we are looking for the, the, the gradient where x is equal to minus 1. We are given a specific value of x. At times we might not give you as x. Maybe we can give you the coordinates. You know that when you are given both coordinates, we are trying to confuse you there. Just use x only. If you are given x and y, this is the x that we are talking about. In this particular case, it is minus 1. Even if you can't be given y, ignore it. Because in this particular case, we are looking for the, the gradient. So it's minus 1 all squared, uh, minus 4. This is the gradient of the tangent. So my m tan is equal to a gradient of the tangent. Remember, that's what we are looking for. The gradient of the tangent. Gradient of the tangent. Uh, what is this going to be? This is minus. This is one times that. It is minus uh, nine. Because this will be positive times negative. It is negative. Then that's minus four. Therefore, my gradient of the tangent. Because it is the same. The gradient of this line is the same as the gradient of the tangent at this particular point. That's why I'm just giving you that gradient of the tangent as equals to, there's one there, it's minus 13. This is the gradient of the tangent. That's how you do calculate the gradient of the tangent. Remember, you might be given the, the cubic graph and you'll be asked about the, the, the equation of, of the tangent. Thank you.